Okay, we're going to play around now with um, a very famous painting. We're going to play around with the Mona Lisa. But we're going to imagine that it's um, painted by Salvador Dali. Now, here's an example of Salvador Dali's work that we're going to use, the persistence of memory. And I think the part that we're really looking at are the melting clocks that are here and the way he's sort of distorted reality a bit. We're going to use that idea to... Um, Reimagine the Mona Lisa in the style of Dali. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a copy of the Mona Lisa. So I've um, done a Google search here for the images for Mona Lisa. And I'll look at the first one here. And that's not a bad size. But what I always do is go to Search Tools, Size and Large. Okay, so that first one's gone now. And here we hear, much bigger. So we'll click on that. Now to download it, You've got to remember, you must view the image first. I don't know how many times I see people downloading the thumbnails. So we wait for it to download. Waiting. Depending on how fast your internet is. Got it. Right click. And we can save the image as. I'm just going to put it on the de on the desktop. Time links and save image as. Wherever we want to go to desktop. And we'll hit save. So now, there it is. It's on my desktop. Okay. I can get out of uh, Safari now. Now I need to open this image in Photoshop. Now there's a number of ways we can do that. We can right click, open with, and choose Photoshop if we want. Um, for most probably one of the easiest ways, we can have Photoshop open and go File, Open, and get the image that way. Well, the way that I like to on the Macs is to just drag it onto the Photoshop icon and there it is, it's open. So to make it like Salvador Dali, we've got to play around with it. We've got to use a filter. We're going to use the liquify filter. Now liquify is a lot of fun, but um, misused it can cause some, some problems. So I, when I'm working with students, I always remind them to be responsible with how they use it, particularly if they're um, liquefying photos of classmates, which I usually don't let them do. I only let them liquefy themselves. Okay, so we're going to go to Filter and Liquify. There it is. Now this is one of the most popular techniques that we use with the students. Um, they really tend to enjoy it and uh, they get quite a buzz out of what you can do with it. So we're going to start distorting this a little bit like Dali might have with his clocks. So I'm going to go with the Forward Warp tool here. Make my brush a little bit bigger. Where's my brush size? My brush size over here and we'll start playing around with what could be done to poor old Mona. So I'm going to start distorting her hair a bit and I'm going to start playing around with her eyes, dragging them out bit by bit. You can play around with your brush tools, the sizes and see what can happen to make things a little bit different. So what you want to do is, well it's up to you. And bring that down there. Now, I want to get this one a bit bigger. I want to stretch her face out a bit. So we'll make the brush size bigger again. In a minute, we're going to start stretching down. And that one, poor old Mona Lisa, is changing quite dramatically. Now, the um, other tools we've got here. We've got the reconstruct tool. This is handy if you want to paint over a bit. It brings it back to where it was. It's like an undo tool. The swirl. Let's get to the corner here. See it turns a bit around. Now I'm going to go back to reconstruct here and bring it back to where it was. These ones that can be fun. The um, the pinch and the um, the bloat tool. I want the bloat tool here. So you go to the eyes and very carefully. Enlarge her eyes. So it's looking a little bit like one of those um, cutesy drawings of cats that we see on the internet. Here, if I can move it out. And of course, you can slide with it. So let's make her hands a bit bigger here. A bit of distortion there going on. Ooh, no, I don't like that bit, so I'll go back over. Point back over and make it normal again.
Ooh, that's a bit interesting. And I can keep playing around with and what I do with Mona. I can distort it a little bit more. I might as well stretch it out here. So I'm playing around with specific parts. Let's just get the hair out a bit more. Go back to a smaller brush now. I'll give her a punk style hairdo. So we'll bring out the spiky hair. And so on. So, I mean, you can do amazing things with it. Some of the other tools that we've got there, the, um, the masking and freeze tools can be handy. So if I wanted to freeze with the freeze mask that's just over there, if I painted over an area and then did a major revision, a major swirl or something, wherever I froze would stay the way I'd, I'd left it. And so we can play with all of those. But I'm not going to go into that too much now. So there we go. There's our very basic Mona Dali. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'll save it. Just before I do that, um, I could reconstruct, go back bit by bit. I could restore all back to the original if I'd gone too far. And um, I won't do that just yet. But they're really handy tools. So usually students go crazy in the first little bit. And then they can restore it all and, and bring it back. But I'll hit OK. And it will update the original image. Waiting. There we go. And there's our Mona Dali. Now, of course, if I wanted to play with other filters and do solarized filters or any, any of these um, artistic filters, um, I can. Or if I wanted to make it more like a poster, it could be nice to do image adjustments. Well, I might posterize it. There we go, posterize. So that gives me a slightly different appearance for it, if I wanted to go that way. Two levels. There we go. So you could also do that as well, um, take it another step. But for this exercise, I'm just going to leave it for the pure liquify. So there's the version. I'm going to keep that. So I'm going to go File, Always Save As, because I don't want to save over my original one. And I'm just going to call it Mona Dali. And I can save that. Keep maximum size generally. No reason not to. And there we have two Mona Lisas. Let me go to Photoshop. There we have the uh, Mona Dali and the Mona.